What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the exploit that has been released a couple of days ago, what we can use it for, and of course if it helps for jailbreak purposes. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to manage your device, transfer your photos, music, videos and so on, do proper backups, and of course transfer the data from a device to another. Definitely check it out in the link below, it supports iPhone 13 as well. So just a couple of days ago the Objective-C account here posted that 08DC3WB which is a developer in our community, gave an intriguing talk on kernel exploitation on the new Apple M1 chip and of course details about three of their vulnerabilities. Now yesterday the developer posted this, quote, the slides of my presentation kernel exploitation on Apple M1 chip can be found here. And indeed they posted their talk in here, which took place at the Objective-C conference here, but aside from the keynote or the presentation about the Apple AVE2, they also posted this exploit POC or proof of concept, which is the local privilege escalation type. Now if you look in here you can find 08TC3WBB in the Apple security content with AVE video encoder and it says in here quote an application may be able to cause unexpected system termination or write the kernel memory. So a pretty interesting one, it has been patched on 14.6 which means that it would be available for 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4.2, 14.4.1 14 and of course 14.4. So pretty good for jailbreak purposes in that range. However, there is a problem with this exploit and that is the fact that it needs to be chained in order to be used for jailbreak purposes. Now Coolstar put it the best, if you go ahead here on Discord, Coolstar posted an announcement a couple of days ago and they said quote, please don't ping me about the exploit that dropped today. It won't work for jailbreaking iOS in its current state as Apple AVE2 isn't accessible from the sandbox. It will need to be chained with another user space exploit similar to FTSP on iOS 13.7. And based on that previous exploit chain, expect it to only work on A10 or newer if user space exploit also drops. So that's possibly the best explanation for this exploit here. That's the reason I didn't make a video when it dropped, but a lot of people asked me about it. So yeah, while it's great and it can be used for jailbreak purposes, you still need a way to make it accessible from the sandbox, so it would still need a way to be chained. So we can definitely use this, however, as Coolstar said, Apple AVE2 is not accessible from the sandbox as it is, so on iOS you would still need another exploit to chain with this one here. However, if that happens, you would have local privilege escalation, which can be used indeed for jailbreak purposes, but as I said, this has been patched on 14.6, so it would only be useful for 14.5.1 and lower. Still, that would make for a pretty useful exploit in my opinion, especially for those people. Now, as you saw, Coolstar mentioning here A10 or higher, which means that the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, 10, 10s Max, 10R, 11, 12 and so on will all be supported. However, anything older than that, like the iPhone 6, 6S and so on, will not. Now, the keynote itself is actually quite interesting. It explains the bug very well. It explains the Apple AVE 2 and of course how they found various vulnerabilities, how they work and so on, and of course it goes back a couple of years to various other vulnerabilities in the driver, and they mention an important thing. They mention that the Apple AVE 2 used to be only available on iOS, and of course on the ARM devices like the iPad OS and so on, and it was of course completely closed source and stripped. But now with the M1 chip Max, they of course have access to this as well, making it easier to exploit and of course to find bugs. So that's one of the reasons people are able to find bugs easier in this nowadays. So yeah, both the presentation and the proof of concept, the code that has been posted, are very useful for the jailbreak community as knowledge, and this one can even be used for jailbreak purposes if chained. But for this one to be useful, we would still need to wait for that part of the chain to be released, as Coolstar said in there, and it likely would only work on the iPhone 7 or newer. So yeah, that's basically it about it. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, until next time, peace out.